to start out with how you got your start in baseball. Well, how long do you want me to take this? I can go for an hour or whatever. What happened in 1941, <laughs> the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. I was a senior in high school and I was going to USC. That scholarship all set. But then when the war started, young dummies like me wanted to win the war, you see. And I wanted to get into the V-5 program, which is naval aviation. Yeah. I couldn't get in because I was 17. So what am I going to do all summer long? I have to wait till September. Well, somebody offered me a contract in professional baseball with the Yankees, minor league team, just above the high school level. I went to Wellsville, New York, and I played until September the 14th, came back and joined when I was 18. So that's how I happened to get in that way, uh, very quick and, uh, you know, took a while. It was kind of a, a coincidence almost. <laughs> you went into baseball because you couldn't do the thing you really wanted to do in that's the first place. right. I had to wait until I was 18. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. All right, of all your accomplishments, you know, serving in World War II, serving in the Korean War, being a, uh, on the Yankees, being the World Series MVP in the, in the, what is it, the National Baseball Hall of Fame, what is the accomplishment that means the most to you? On April the 1st, 1944, after nearly a year and eight months of long study and trying and so forth, studious that I should say, I, I became a second lieutenant in the United States Marine Corps and got my Navy wings of gold. That was the highlight of my life, it really was. Wow. And I've never forgotten that as a single thing that I never thought I would ever be, I became a naval aviator in the Marine Corps. And that, to this day, is the greatest achievement of my life. That's amazing. But now you are the color analyst for the radio for the Padres. Do you enjoy that as much as you enjoyed playing? Well, nothing matches playing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can talk to any ball player about being an analyst or being a broadcaster or whatever you want to do. But playing on the field is the ultimate of professional baseball. <laughs> And it's absolutely great to be that kind of a guy. In fact, I, I was with the Yankees when we had DiMaggio and Mantle and Bear and Rizzuto and all these Hall of Famers, Whitey Ford. And it was a great ball club and we won every year. And people don't realize that money isn't the thing that keeps you going, it's winning that keeps you going. Well, and spoken from a true winner because you went to the World Series six times, mm -hmm. you won four times. I mean, that's incredible. Do you, you just look, ever look back and reflect and think about just... <laughs> Not unless you remind me. <laughs> <laughs> I no, I incredible. don't. I really don't. I, oh. to, to me, I always, you know, I, I'm one of these people who thinks about all the failures that you had. Why didn't I do this? Why uh -huh. didn't I do that? The things that I did that were positive, I expected it to happen. You spent your whole career with the Yankees. Yeah. What is your best memory from, from your career? What is your favorite memory? Well, I, I think the 1950, I was the World Series most valuable player. And every okay. time I came up, something happened or could happen. And I was lucky to uh, achieve whatever happened in those in instances. Do you still have your Yankees uniform? <laughs> I don't, I have no clue where it is. So you don't put it I, on? I'm, I'm not a saver, I'm not a saver. Okay. I, I don't have any savings of anything. But, you know, see, I could be rich if I got my room with Mickey Mantle for yeah. two years. Yeah. I could have got a hundred balls signed by Mantle and been rich just giving them away. eBay, I never Jerry. thought about, I never thought about <laughs> that. A lot of nonsense. When's the last time you ran the bases? On uh, October 1957 was my last game in Milwaukee against the Brewers. And I think, I think that was a, a World Series that we lost. Very disappointing for me. I did know it was my last World Series at the time. Yeah. Because when I came back in the wintertime in New York, I lived there for 20 years, they said, listen, we want you to go into the front office and we're going to take you off the field. And I said, well, what am I going to do? Sure, I'll do it. How do you stay so young? I do. <laughs> I could ask the question. <laughs> I, I didn't know I was. You know, I'm 88 now. If I finish my contract with the Padres, I'll be 91. And by then, they'll be running me out in the wheelbarrow. So. But you're still, I mean, you're vibrant. You're everywhere. You're still such a big face of this organization. What do you think it is that just kept you so so? Well, beautiful? I don't know. I, I'm lucky, I guess, uh, you know, genetics maybe. I don't drink. I don't <laughs> smoke. And I try to watch my diet and so forth. I'm up to 112 pounds or maybe it's 110. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is, is any part of it just being around the game at all? It, there's one thing, you know, baseball to me has never lost its, uh, its feeling for me. I love it now as I did when I first started. Yeah, they're going to erect a statue of you. <laughs> have, have you seen the statue? No, if you do know if it looks enough like you. It does? Have I you seen know, it? I haven't seen it. Well, I, I, I hope <laughs> it's in a bathing suit, you know, show <laughs> my, my massive strength. It's, <laughs> I don't know. I, to me, that's it's hmm. probably one of the greatest honors I've ever received. Absolutely. And uh, I just don't know what to say except, <laughs> God, thanks. <laughs> that's all I can say.